What is going on everybody? My name is Alex and welcome to episode 5 of Brigand Oaks Arca. In the last episode, running feet had led us back to Uncle Bob's fort to um, claim our reward for killing Zack, the um, the nuisance who hung around in the mountains and was supposed to be quite good with a gun, but we got rid of him pretty quick. We also, we, just, we suffered a loss. Gazong died. It was very emotional. For some reason, he decided he wasn't going to use his gun. Instead, he'd just run at somebody with an axe, and axe against gun doesn't work. Right, so in this episode, the plan for um, today is to, um, first of all, we're going to go and speak to Uncle Bob, but then after that, we're going to do a little bit of a housekeeping kind of thing. We're going to have to restock on ammunition. We're going to have to um, show some more upgrades. I've got, I found some more stuff about that, such as the cooking meat upgrade, which I will focus on and have a look at. And then we're going to hopefully get on with these new new missions. I'm not going to do any spoilers just yet. Um, um, new missions we're going to get set early on in this episode. So, let's get on with that very quickly. Also, at the end of the last episode, which could become key in this episode at the end, or in the next one, we got the Toxic, toxic Caves key. You need to make sure you pick that up off Zack's body um, when you kill him. So do make sure you do that, otherwise you're going to struggle to progress from there. Okay, so... Ah, oh, Henry. Framed for murder, now doing jobs for dodgy people like Uncle Bob. He didn't even kill the guy he was put in prison for. Poor Henry, right. Okay, I think this guy wants to speak to us here, this UB Elite. I'm guessing UB stands for Uncle Bob. Civilian looking for a job? Our man Fingers has been missing for days now. He ran across the freeway into the scumlands a while back, looking for his lady friend. If you find him, tell him to get his ass back to the fort. We usually keep the scumlands gate locked. The place is full of demons and juiced out bandits. Since you dealt with Zack in the hills, the company trusts you enough with the gate key. Find fingers in the scumland, civilian. Civilian? We're no civilian. We're, we're armed and dangerous. Maybe you can also pry some info out of those Alugan scum about the how to infiltrate Pokchula. Uncle Bob obsessed with getting a man inside the city walls. Could be you. Now we don't have enough room for the key, so we need to take something out of our inventory. I wrote this. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I wrote this down on the um, when I've done a practice file on it, so I know what that says. It's basically just summarising the mission. Okay, laughing Quixote, my friend. Would you like to keep some of these things for us? I don't think we even need to keep the bounty. And we've picked up the key now. Is there anything else we can give to Coyote that we don't really want? No, we don't want the capacitator. He can keep hold of that. The battery. Oh, I've picked up the capacitator again, for Christ's sake. Right, we'll keep the vulture because we can buy some ammunition for that. We'll give them the leaves as well. And we'll give... No, we'll have the methane grenade. Why should he have all the fun when we can actually blow people up with it as well? When I was... um. Oh, we can't pick it up. We've got no room. Why have we got two guns? We don't need two guns. Right, we can chuck this one in the corner. Move, Henry. What else don't we need? Oh, well, we can reload that, which will free up a space. We can reload that, but it won't free up a space. I don't think we need the bounty. We definitely need to keep this raw meat, otherwise I'm not going to be sh able to show off what I think I will. Okay, ah, that's all right. We've, we've sorted the infantry space out there perfectly. Hopefully we'll be getting some more shortly. Hint, hint. Daybreak. Lovely. Right, let's head up and see Uncle Bob and see what he has to say. Also, we want to claim our reward. If you remember, there's a 40 jink um, bounty on Zack's head. So we killed him, so we should be getting that money. Hello, Uncle Bob. Money, please. We are all in your debt, Chief. But let me set you straight. It's better if you don't enlist in my services. If I'm not officially connected to you, it just looks a little better on paper. I hope you understand. Mm. Well, I don't think it's our choice. You've got lots of men with guns, so we'll have to understand. If you're looking for riches, Chief, i got just the thing. Try negotiating with Mr. Mungo in Pakachula. If you can get an audience with that flapjack, <laughs> flapjack, you just come right back and tell me about it. Go talk to Carmen at the bar on the wreck floor. She can tell you about how to get into Pakachula. I usually don't trust women, Henry, but Carmen's the best in the whole damn fort. Now you take good care of her. Ah, 
Okay, so basically you need to find a way into Pocket Tula to reason with the leader of the Eluga tribe, Mr. Mungo. I think we're actually enemies with the Eluga tribe, which could make for some interesting, um, interesting scenarios. The city is sealed off, so your first step is to find a way inside. You can ask around Junk Fort for a tip. Your second step is to meet Mr. Mungo in person for negotiations. I think I know where we're going to go. Ah, thank you for the coins. He says it like here's a sack of coins for the road, when really it's for bringing Zack's head back. But okay. We've also inc Move, Laughing Coyote! We've also increased our respect with the UBNS, I believe it is. Oh, we're stuck in the door. We'll just Coyote, bloody move! Stop doing this, man! We're gonna have a serious fallout if Coyote keeps putting his face in front of every door I walk out of. Look at all how happy these people are. Hmm, maybe I'm pretty glad we didn't actually enlist in the forces of Uncle Bob, because everybody looks so miserable. An interesting fact here is you can actually play Chinese dice with this guy, I think that's what the game's called. Um, I'm not going to do that in this episode because I don't have time and I'm not actually practiced playing it, so I'd, I'd milk up and lose a lot of money. But um, I'm sure we'll explore that in future parts. Anyway, let's speak to Carmen. Carmen! Hello. So, Uncle Bob told you to take me out on a date, huh? Where are we going? Anywhere you want, sweet thing. Nah, you're an idiot. Fair enough. Uncle Bob wants to pay Mr. Mungo a visit, and he lives in Pocatula. Last I checked, Pocatula had its gates closed to the outsiders, but I know another way. There's an old system of tunnels called the Topa Tracks, dug out by the Shawen tribe. Shawen tribe. To get there, we need to backtrack to Ricardo's plantation, and then go up to the southern slope to Ghoul territory. Word has it, there's a tunnel in Pocatula down there. I believe I know where that is. Carmen has joined the team. Yes, welcome Carmen to this mad world of death and horror. It's going to be absolutely awful. Please don't die on me. I get upset when people die. So actually we have now we've got lots of inventory space because we have Carmen. She's only got a 10mm pistol though. And a pipe. I don't really know what she's going to do with that pipe. But she's a pipe. Let's have a quick look at her stats. So if we quick, click on character on this main menu here. So vitality, willpower and agility she's all strong in. She's also good at software which is something we've not currently got in the group so that could be very useful to, to hack things and things like that. Not particularly good with pistols and rifles, eight each, but she'll do, she'll do. Hopefully she'll, um, she'll survive long enough to use her software abilities. Um, and yeah, she's got decent health, decent meter, well basic health and meter but you know we'll have to deal with that anyway let's head back to ricardo's plantation i'm going to head and be henry's again henry's i'm going what that did not make any sense alex i'm going to be henry again there we go our main character we've got we have to do a little bit of sleeping i mean have to we all love sleeping don't we i was laid in bed this morning thinking should i get up and i thought no because bed's nice so i didn't Okay, so we're going to have to actually sleep a little bit, like I said, to get Henry's health back up to 20. There's no point wasting anything on a 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually go to... Oh, no, it's not actually. In, I'll, actually I'll think about this. And if we sleep, we'll go to night time. And, and if it's night time, we can't speak to Ricardo and we can't go into the shop. And that's two things I really want to do in this episode. Ricardo, my friend. I want you to train me. So... Um, this is what I was speaking about at the start of the episode, largely about training. I'm just checking a message on my phone, okay. So, in the last episode, I talked about how we had unlocked the cooking meat ability. But after a closer inspection and playing the game a little bit more, I have realised we haven't. To unlock the cooking meat ability, although we got um, it became available to us, to unlock it and use the ability, we have to click here, unlock ability, and then cook meat. This should take three jink, um, three jink, three um, points, there we go. Near any cooking fire, you can cook raw meat or demon parts, eliminating disease and converting it into dried meat, which is much healthier. With a high survival skill, you can cook various chemicals and juices from demon meat. So to use this, I think it costs five meter to use. But it does take three points up, up um, unlock, so we'll do that now. We've unlocked it. 
And then, as you can see, we still have 17 points remaining. I think what I'm going to do with those 17 points, I'm so tempted to unlock that. You can sprint on Q, allowing for a... It just makes sense. So you can sprint on Q, allowing for a quick escape off flank. You receive a temporary plus 10 bonus to agility, which also improves your jumping. The amount and duration increases slightly with higher agility skill. So we're actually going to unlock that as well. Unlock all the abilities we can. So with the we've got 14 po points left now, and we might as well use them. There's no point in them sitting there and us suffering and not being as good as we could be. So we will upgrade skill. I think we'll upgrade Vitality to 24. You'll see why I do that in a moment. We can't upgrade any of these two anymore. We're actually better than Ricardo at Agility. Strength might be a good one. I think we'll go Strength. Now we'll put, yeah, we'll put Survival up to 10. So now we can unlock Chem Tolerance, which we might do. And we'll put Strength up to 10 as well. How many points do we have left? We have 5. Quicker, ah... Uh, I've not actually come across any rifles and shotguns yet, but I think it could be quite useful to have already started on that. So we'll use the final five points there. So we have now, we can now unlock the following abilities. Power Strike, Throw Weapon, and Chem Tolerance. We won't be doing that quite yet because we've just used all our points here. But in the, um, the next time we have chance, the next time we've got some points, we'll use that to unlock a couple, or if not all, of those abilities. So we'll continue with that. And it's just confirming there we have access to new abilities. Lovely jubbly. Cheers, pal. Cheers, Ricardo, for that. And it's raining, so I can't actually show off the cooking meat ability, but as soon as it stops raining, I will do that. Right, so now we've got some jink. We've got 98 jink, 40 of which was obviously from killing Zack in the hills, which was a glorious victory. And, and someone died, and it was so sad. Anyway, got to move on, Alex. Got to move on. You can't cry anymore. Gezong's gone. He's gone forever. But what we're going to do now is we're going to buy some things from this guy here, Mountain Thunder. Who looks like a really boring guy, doesn't he? He mumbles with irritation, then notices your presence. He's not happy to be here. In fact, if we talk to him... Uh, maybe we won't. We'll just, we'll just buy some stuff off him. I need ammo. So, this is when you've got to think about who you've got in your group and how much ammo you want to give them. So... Carmen, I forgot her name then, sorry, um, uses a pistol, a 10mm pistol, I believe. So we'll buy her one clip of 10mm. We've got to do it all separately. Back on here. And I think we'll also buy ourselves a 10mm clip for 12 jinx. So that's 24 jinx spelt, spelt, spent already. Sorry, it's quite early for me. It's like 11 o'clock, which for a teenage lad is the middle of the night, and I'm sure you all agree with that. Yep, um, and then we're going to buy some more ammo, we're going to buy some magnum rounds, because that's what goes in the vult, is it the vulture gun, I think it is, I'll check that in a second, but that little gun that Laughing Coyote has got, he's got some rounds already, but we haven't got any, so we're going to buy two of them, I need ammo, so now we should be in a pretty strong position ammunition wise, and then, before we leave him, we're going to spend some more of our money here, which is sad and... Uh, I hate spending money! And we will buy a med, med kit for 12 jink. We've got some money left, we've got quite a bit left. So we can always... Um, we've got 54 left, I believe. Oh no, we've got 42 left. We've got a med kit though, which is... Not, oh, we can't... We've left it on the floor. Hang on. Two seconds. Time to drop some more crap. I'll drop these keys. I'll let Carmen keep hold of the keys. She seems reasonably sensible. If we reload that, we might buy ourselves another 10mm round, actually. Right, I've dropped that for Carmen. So I've dropped the 10mm round within all this other crap, within the keys I've gave her. So she's now got standard crew, 10mm pistol, and an extra magazine to go with it, an extra clip. We better go in and pick up the rest. Ah, so this is a med kit. Let's do a quick introduction to a med kit. This kit will restore some of your health or the health of an ally. With more medicine av abilities, med kits will be more effective and even treats negative effects and provide burn provides bonuses. They can also be used to revive important fallen teammates. 
like Gazong. No, we can't use that on Gazong just yet. I presume it's because our medkit ability is not high enough. I have actually tried, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. Um, so if if I, if you do know how to do that, please do let me know in the comments because I'm not sure how to revive people. I'm presuming it's because my um, my ability on uh, medicine, on survival or whatever, is not high enough. I think it's medicine actually. So if we can improve that, as I'll just buy another 10 millimeter clip for ourselves. We should hopefully be able to start reviving people when they die. And believe me, they will die. Because, I, as I've mentioned a few times now, I've got a practice file on this. And I spend a lot of time dying, which is really upsetting. But you know, what can you do? What can you do? <laughs> this game can be quite tricky at times. So be prepared to die if you're going to play this game. It's fun, but you will die quite a bit. Let's just rest till nightfall. To heal ourselves back up to 20. And then for the rest of it, we'll use this rag, I think. Ah, look, we can, this is how we use the um, run like hell. I knew this is how we, you lose, use the cook meat, by pressing the V key. Um, but you can, if you press V, that's how you run like hell. But in this case, I'm going to use it and use that bandage we found to heal us back up to full health. We don't even have enough meter to use run like hell, do, hell do we? No, it's still raining, back to bed. You'll see why I'm doing this in a minute, folks. You'll see. Ah, the sun is shining! Good morning. Let me demonstrate this new skill, finally. We just spent a full day sleeping, almost. That is so like me. Oh, it's still bloody raining. Stop raining! Right, we're going back to bed. Please have stopped raining. Yes, it stopped raining. Right. What I need to do now is give... Uh, I think Coyote's got the meat. He has. He has indeed. I need to give all this meat to Henry. Henry, have some meat. Sounds a bit weird, that actually, doesn't it? Yeah, we've picked that up. So, because Henry's got the cooking meat ability, we can go up to this fire here. And we can... If we press the V key... It gives us these options again, like I was just talking about. So if you go and cook meat, it'll use 5 meter. But it should cook one bit of meat, but it's not. Oh, do we have to... Put, we'll probably have to actually be on it in our inventory, which is... Yeah, there we go. We'll cook it all. And cooked meat is so much better for you than not cooked meat. I'm sure you all know that from real life. Don't eat uncooked meat, folks. It's not good for you. Right, we've got enough meat now to do it. Um, it actually heals you four, whereas I think uncooked meat doesn't... I think it might heal you three uncooked meat. But the biggest drawback with that, with raw meat, is that it can actually um, give you poisoning. Oh, move out of the way, please, folks. For God's sake. Shift! <laughs> I have no patience sometimes. Okay, well, it's night time. And I think what we will do for the remainder of this episode is head up to the caves, which is where we're going to start the next episode. Just a quick note as well on the med kit, that heals you 10, so that is very useful. Because 10 health is um, easy to lose on this game, so you do need to gain it quite quick. We could have perhaps done with having more than one med kit. Diseased ha- what? Diseased hound? Where are these diseased hounds? Oh god. Has anyone died? Are we all okay? Well, Carmen's okay, because she's stuck behind a wall. Are you okay, Laughing Coyote? I mean, you've just been fighting a dog. Okay, well, we're all back down here now for some reason, but oh well. I think Laughing Coyote is fine. He was just shooting a dog, which was quite scary, because I did not see him. I'm like, no! We can't lose another one, not another one, not Coyote. But he's okay, he survived. Yeah. It's so nerve wracking walking around places like this because you're just waiting for something to jump out on you. Have I gone the wrong way? I probably have, knowing me. Yeah, I have, haven't I? Great stuff. It's not over here. Because I think this is caves. Oh no, that's a cliff edge. Let's everyone get away from the cliff edge. Because every time we go near a cliff edge, we end up losing somebody. Somebody falls off. 
Ah, uh, here we go. We're heading the right way now, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, please. We will like to travel to 30175. Just a quick note. Um, if you are watching this series, please do feel free to leave comments and suggestions, all that kind of stuff in, in the comments below because I'd be really interested to interact with other people playing the game and hopefully make me better at the game as well. So please do um, feel free to do that. Well, right, anyway, what I'm going to do now before I end the game is I'm going to recommend that every time you see one of these beds, you save the bloody game. Because if you don't, you're going to regret it. Because there's so many baddies around here which can end enemies that can just kill you and you, it's just not worth risking it. So remember to keep saving your game, otherwise you'll end up at a point about half an hour ago and you'll be infuriated with yourself that you didn't. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll post the game here. I hope you've enjoyed. Please do hit that like button for more of Brigand Oksaka. And definitely subscribe for more. Like I've mentioned in the comments before. I'm going to be uploading this three or four times a week. I get the feeling it's quite a long game. I read on the, um, the Steam page it's ten chapters long. So, you know, we're going to have to keep a high pace on this game, so do stay tuned for plenty more episodes. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in episode 6, where we will um, explore the toxic caves, I believe they're called. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you for that.